Hello dear viewers, welcome back to another video. This video is all about how to set up a quotation layout in Odoo 70. So not only quotation layout but also other documents that is simply to set up a layout for other documents also which is used inside the Odoo 70. So this can be done basically from the settings module of Odoo. So there under the general settings you have the option to configure layout of documents. So you can make your, you know, make the layout of the documents very attractive. That is, you can change the font, the color, and you can even put background things like geometrical background or even background images and so on. So I'm not wasting time saying all those things. Let's witness it. Let's move on to the module and see how the setup of the document layout is done. So now let's get inside the sales module and see how to set up the quotation layout. So here's the sales module, I'm opening it and as you all know, inside the sales module, you have this option to send quotation as well as to print the invoices, print the quotations and all. So everything is coming as a document. So document layout can be changed according to your wish. That is, you can customize your documents, okay, customize the way they looks. So before going on to customization of the documents, I have one more important thing to introduce to you guys. So for that, let's go to the configuration settings of the sales module. Okay, so inside the configuration settings of the sales module, if you simply scroll down under the quotation template, you will find PDF quote builder. Okay, so what is PDF quote builder? This is actually a brand new feature which is introduced in Odoo 70. This basically makes your quotation very attractive by adding header pages as well as footer pages. So you have two options here, which is header as well as footer, where you can add PDFs to make your quotation look a little bit more attractive. So currently we have a, a header page as well as a footer page. Okay, so let's see how it makes a difference in the quotation. So I've not done any changes over here. So I no need to save it. Okay, so I'll show you for that. Let's go to the quotations. Create a new quotation. Okay, so let the customer be as your interior. And I'm going to add a product. So let the product be a caustic block screen. And after that, I'm going to send it by mail. So what happens is that the quotation which is in quotation state will change to the state quotation send. So from here, I'm downloading the PDF, okay, and sending it. So downloading it just to show you guys, okay. So let's do one thing. The file is downloaded, right? Let's just see, okay, how it looks. So here's the quotation. Let's just take a look. Now, this is the header PDF. Okay, and this is the quotation. And here you can see the footer PDF. So, I'll show you how it looks when it's removed. So, let's just focus on this thing first. So, this is the quotation. And we are going to change the layout of this particular thing. Okay, so that can be done using the settings module. Okay, now currently in this quotation, you have the details of the company. You have an area where you can add your logo. The details regarding the quotation, the products, the tax, amount, everything. And you have the terms and condition, the payment terms. And also, you can see the page number and all. So, this is the footer of the what? Quotation. Okay. So, we'll do one thing. We'll go back. Okay. And I'll just show you. That is, let's go to the settings module. Okay. So, here in the settings module, you have this general settings. Okay. Open the general settings and under the general settings, what you will find is the simply scroll down and here you find the document layout. So from here, you can configure your document layout. I'm clicking on configure document layout, opening it. Okay, now this is the area where you can, um, you know, configure the way your document looks like. Okay. So currently, the layout of this particular document is in light. Okay, you have different style this boxed. So this is how boxed look like. Then you have bold. So that's bold. And then you have striped ones. Okay, so that's striped. So these are the different ways how your document layout looks like. Okay. So you also have this font where you have different fonts like Lato, Roboto, Open Sans, Montserrat and all. Okay. So you can choose any of these. So let it be Lato itself. And here, if you want to add your company logo, that can be done. Then if you want to change the colors, which is found inside your layout, you can simply choose the color. So I'll choose a color over here. 
see the colors changed now the font color is also changed I'm changing the color once again okay so that color is also affected over here so those are the colors so you can choose the colors which should be found inside the document layout and then you have one more thing which is to add background so you can simply leave it blank or even add geometric or custom things so if it's custom means you can add or upload a file from your system itself okay and then you have the option to add the company tagline so if your company has any kind of taglines or not you can add it from here here you have the option to add the company details as well as the footer and then you have three types of paper format which is A4, US letter and QR codes. I mean QR code pages. Now this is how your document will look like. If you want you can change it to boxed or whatever it is. So I have changed it to boxed. Okay. Now let's put the layout background as the geometric and once it's done save it. Okay, now the next thing which I'm going to do is go to sales module. So we have seen the quotation with header and footer. Now let's see how it looks like without the header and footer. That is the PDF code. Sorry, PDF quote builder. Okay, so here you have the header as well as the footer page. I'm removing it and I'm saving it. Okay, so after that, let's go to the orders. Okay. You have the quotations over here. Let's create a quotation. <laughs> and add the customer as well as the product. Okay. So this new feature, we have done a detailed video of the PDF code builder inside our YouTube channel. So you can simply check our channel for the detailed video on that single topic, which is PDF code builder. Okay. So yeah, here I'm adding a product and sending it by mail. Okay, so here I'm downloading the PDF and sending it. Okay, so the download is started. Now let's go to, okay, now let's go to the next page. I mean the downloaded file, okay. So this is the area where it's downloaded. I'm opening it. See, the header and footer has changed. Now this is the document regarding the product which we have chosen which is acoustic block screen so i'll show it choosing another product okay so see the uh, header as well as the footer is removed so this was the one with the header and footer okay so i'll add one another product and show you okay so let's create a new quotation adding a customer so let it be wood corner and then you have the product over here so let it be cabinet with doors and then let's send it by mail. Now I'm going to download this quotation and send it. Okay, so that's send. The quotation is downloaded. Open it. See, this is the thing. So here you don't have any header or footer. But if you take the previous one, the one which we downloaded while we set it up, you know, footer and header, you can see what you have a header as well as a footer. But currently we have only this document. This was the previous layout and this is the layout which we set it now. So that's how you set up layout for your documents. So go on and try all the possible ways to decorate your layout. So that's all about this video. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.